Hi, DJ here. Let me give you an explanation about the item upgrades. All weapons, armor, and accessories can range from various grade qualities, from inferior, weak, ordinary, exceptional, and superior. The grade quality affects certain stat ranges of the equipment. Grade can be reset to a random value using Kaleido boxes. Kaleido boxes can be obtained through the Sera shop and events. Now, let's check out the different ways of enhancing your equipment. Reinforcing improves the physical and magic attack stats on weapons. Special equipment can also be reinforced for additional stats. Reinforcing armor and accessories can also provide more defense, if necessary. Reinforcing costs gold and clear cube fragments. The cost will increase depending on the level of the item and the reinforcement level. Also, success rates will decrease as the levels get higher. Go to NPC Kiri in Handle Meyer to select the Reinforce option to begin the process. Refining is used to increase a weapon's independent attack. Go to NPC June the blacksmith with powerful energy materials to refine your weapon. Unlike reinforcement and amplification, refinement value does not decrease and the weapon cannot be destroyed upon failure. Weapons can be refined up to 8 times and the higher the level of refinement, the more powerful energy is required. Amplification is a system that includes all stat upgrades provided by reinforcement plus an additional base stat increase. Think of it as an upgraded version of reinforcement. Amplify your equipment through the NPC Clunter in Underfoot. Since it provides an even bigger upgrade to your equipment than reinforcement, it requires a lot more preparation. In order to amplify, you must check if your item is tainted by the other versal energy. Items tainted by other versal energy are dropped at a set rate in dungeons. Equipment tainted by other versal energy cannot be equipped, disassembled, or reinforced. So it must be purified first. In order to purify the equipment, you'll need a scroll. This scroll can be created by purchasing a recipe from Clunter and collecting the materials required. Purified items will be given one of the following abilities randomly. Dimensional Strength, Intelligence, Vitality, and Spirit. To amplify equipment, you'll need Crystallized Chaos, which can be purchased at Clunter's shop or through the auction home. Click Clunter and select the Amplify menu. After you put an item into the Amplify window, it will display the amount of gold and crystallized chaos required to amplify. Retexturization is a process in which items can have their armor type and texture changed, changing the base stats in the armor mastery without affecting the other bonuses given by the equipment. Retexturizing an item can be done through the NPC Strawberry Gnu Stella or Roger Levin, as well as Grandis in Raid Channels. Now, let's change the material of your armor through the menu of the NPC Strawberry Gnu Stella in Black Market in Pandemonium area. This will allow any character to use any armor set without sacrificing their armor mastery bonuses. Also, Buffers will obtain buffer specific bonuses from any armor set by retexturizing them into plate armor. Add additional stats to your equipment by enchanting. Enchantment cards can only be enchanted onto certain equipment slots. You can enchant your items through a player's enchantment shop or if your character's profession is an enchanter, you can enchant them yourself through the profession menu. Once you have the materials required for an enchant, register the equipment and the card to begin the enchanting. Once the cards can be obtained randomly or purchased through the auction hall. And much like the equipments, there are different rarities for each card. Also, enchanters can create a bid that allows you to directly enchant an equipment without using the enchanter's shop. Use materials such as Oro of Despair and Fearsome Eye obtained in the Black Purgatory Dungeon 
to the MPC GG Ringwood to change the types and values of changeable target options for epic weapons, bottoms, rings, and sub equipment. The converted option can be changed to the highest value to the change max value system or transferred to another equipment. The change option tab changes the value and the option type of the equipment. The change max value tab changes the current option to the highest value and can be only used in the equipment that has been through change options at least once. Epic Raid equipment acquired from Ozma and Sirocco Raid can be fused onto other Epic equipment to further enhance the equipment. Go to the Sirocco Raid channel or the central barracks in West Coast Harbor to fuse or separate your Sirocco equipment and the Ozma Raid channel or chest town for Ozma equipment. Fused equipment can be separated into original pieces of equipment as they were before the fusion. Materials are only consumed during fusion and not during separation. Fused equipment cannot be resealed, transcended, converted, upgraded, or engraved. This was DJ and see you next time.